Hello everyone, my name is EK, you're watching EK Tech, and in this video series that I'm going to be doing, I am going to be trying to acoustically treat my room to make it sound as good as possible. Now in a lot of videos you will see people already have perfectly good rooms, or what happens in a lot of videos as well is they will sound treat their room but they'll be using very expensive methods such as adding like these foam panels in the back and stuff and it would, yeah, I mean it might be a lot better but it would cost you a lot more, be a lot more work and it's generally something that is a bit tricky to do when you're for example in a rental house or when you're a student or something where you can't really make any permanent changes to the room. So what I'm going to be doing in this video series is I am going to be starting with a pretty much bare room. As you can see from the wall behind me, it is just a very solid wall. There is nothing there that really reflects or absorbs sound. It is just bouncing it straight back at me, straight back at the microphone. I have moved myself into the middle of my room, which from my understanding is generally the worst spot to be for acoustic treatment. So this would be like the worst case scenario. I'm also using this microphone right here, this is the CAT E100S microphone, which is a microphone that I have recently bought as like a trial thing, I kind of wanted to see what it's like, I've never really owned a big condenser microphone, a review will be coming up of this specific microphone. Um, but I'm using this big condenser microphone because it picks up a lot more noise when I talk and when there's like reverb in my room than my dynamic Rode uh, podcaster does, so this would be more of a proper example for a worst case scenario. Having said that, what exactly are the plans? Well, I'm going to be doing some random clapping and you can hear me talk, of course, and I will be comparing that to two other situations. Situation number one, which will be something that's coming up very soon, will be, as you can see, I have a rug right behind me. That's a two by three meter rug. It won't cover the entire room, but it'll cover a pretty decent amount of the room and that should theoretically increase the uh, acoustic treatment in this room, it should make it a bit more dead and it should make the echo, the reverb um, disappear at least a little bit. Then the next step will be to put curtains. Uh, over there I have a, a window and I have more of the same walls that you can see right behind me as well. And I want to cover the entire wall with a curtain. Um, I'm going to have to order one so that's going to take a while. That's why this is like a, a, a multiple step video sort of. Uh, and then that should increase the acoustics even more. After that, I am still thinking I might do a part four. I might put something on that wall because I don't have anything right behind me, nor do I have anything right in front of me where my monitors are. So it's like it's kind of a bare wall as well. Um, if I feel like it, I might actually shove out some money to get like the acoustic panels or something and actually put them up there or maybe maybe something else that could properly absorb the sound. Uh, we'll have to see. But that's the, that's the plan guys, so um, I'm going to do some clapping here, I will put the waveforms in the video as well so you can see exactly what happens and as I get other parts of this video done, I will start comparing them to this one so we can see exactly what the impact is of reasonably normal and, well let's call them cheap alternatives to foam panels. So, I'll move back just a little bit, I am about, well for you American people I think it's like a foot or something. If I use my own foot for a comparison's sake, uh, I'm going to start clapping and let's just see what it sounds like. All right, I'm also going to be talking a little bit from like this position, which would be um, about like half a meter, two foot or something, uh, just to see what the reverb is, because it is generally known that as as you get further away from the microphone, the reverb becomes more noticeable because you're not focusing the majority of your sound into the microphone. Now that is a test. I will be returning to this video when I have my rug placed, which will probably be either today or at least somewhere this week. And welcome back. As you can see, I have now placed this rug on the floor. Yes, it's not covering the entirety of the room. There is some space to the left and some space to the right that is not covered. Um, I couldn't find anything that was properly sized for that and I didn't want to get like a custom made one because they're way more expensive. Anyway, the main idea with something like this is there is a standing wave between the top, between the ceiling and the bottom and it's like right here. And if I can cut off either the bottom or the top, the echo should improve a little bit and the sound quality does should be better. 
Now I have placed something right below me and yes, before you mention it, I do have one of these plastic mats to protect the rug from like damage when you're rolling around with your chair. I tried sitting on it without the rug, uh, well, sorry, without the mat. I felt like I was just ruining my rug immediately, so I placed one. Uh, the microphone itself, however, is positioned away from the plastic mat and I am like sitting forward so that I don't like have the uh, plastic mat straight below me it's like actually behind me just under the chair so it probably shouldn't impact reflection that much having said that let's do a sound comparison so let me once again start clapping a little bit this should be approximately the same distance All right, so I hope my clapping is consistent. I hope my clapping is very similar to the last clapping that I did, which was like two days ago or something. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be showing you guys some comparisons between the claps I did then, the claps I did now, and then we'll talk about what the differences actually are. Alright, so I've just edited the part of the video that I have recorded these past few days. I have listened to the sound and I have tried to compare them very well. I have got to be really honest, I don't think the difference in sound is that noticeable. I did feel like the sound with the rug in place was a bit better. I did feel like there was a little bit less echo. I felt like it was a little bit more dead where if I clapped uh, you could hear that there's a little bit less reverb going on. Uh, looking at the graphs, however, that I put in the video, I am not sure the difference is really worth the money. Now, personally, I really wanted the rug anyway because I like the feeling of having a rug, you know, to walk on. It's a bit more comfortable, it's a bit warmer, it's nice. Um, but just for a improving your sound kind of situation, I'm not sure I can recommend a rug. Well, I personally felt like there was a bit of a difference. I don't think it's big enough if this is like a big part of your budget. I am very much hoping and I'm very much confident that when I do get the curtains, that that is going to be a way bigger difference. And especially, of course, if you combine these two methods, I'm, I'm confident we're going to get some pretty solid gains. So this is the video for now guys. I will upload a part two whenever I have my curtains and then from there we'll see what we do. We might get like some part four going on with something in the back wall. Please leave a comment down below if you have any ideas. Any ideas of like a cheap solution to like improve your room even more. Uh, I'm thinking maybe get like some paintings or something. Like I'm not really into paintings but maybe there's some stuff that I can get. Yeah, maybe like some game or tech related stuff even like that could be kind of cool um you know i'm still thinking out loud like what can i put in my room so if you have any recommendations if you've done this yourself please let me know also let me know what you think of the test like could you hear a noticeable difference or is it as minimal if even there for you as much as it was for me so anyway guys thank you very much for watching this part stay tuned for the next part of this video and of course the microphone review that's coming up of the cat e100s even though this was a pretty good preview for the microphone review i suppose anyway thank you very much for watching have a nice day and i will see you guys around good night